Why choose water engineering? Why did I choose water engineering? Is it fun? Is it exciting? Is it even worth your time? Today, I'm going to be going through the five main reasons why I chose water engineering. Stick around. My reason number one, the positive impact my job has on the world and its community. One of the projects I worked on in my career was a new sporting facility. Now, my part in the project was only the plumbing and the water infrastructure to that facility, a relatively small portion, but it was a portion nevertheless. I went to a grand opening for this sporting facility and after the announcement and after the grand opening, someone from the community or someone from the crowd came up to me and, and thanked me personally. And despite the fact that even though I was doing one aspect of many, they still came up and thanked all of the engineers, including myself, for allowing them to have this new precinct within their community. Um, and that felt really good and, you know, that really made my day. In fact, it made my week and it was one of the highlights of my career. In this day and age, we see so much negativity in the news and in the newspapers about politics and about the way the world's going. I mean, we've just been all going through a pandemic. And in engineering and in water engineering, you get to separate yourself away from that and create something that's going to be a positive influence on the world and ignore all the noise and ignore all the bad news and bad publicity that's happening in the world and focus on something that's great. And that is a really, really good feeling. Another big reason why I chose engineering, and this is reason number two, travel. Now, some of you may be globetrotters, some of you maybe travel a little bit and, and want some more. Well, let me tell you this, in engineering and in water engineering, travel is an absolute must. You'll get the opportunity to travel internationally if you're with a global company. I mean, even if you're not with a global company, there are projects that are overseas that you'll be able to potentially, if you volunteer yourself or if you get selected, to go over to that country and work there. And yes, you will get to have a vacation, maybe one, two days, or even a week either side. I unfortunately haven't had that opportunity just yet in my eight years of engineering, but fingers crossed it happens soon. One of the companies I worked for, they had a project out in the Maldives. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to the Maldives, but it's quite a tropical area. Um, nice beaches and really lovely weather. I unfortunately didn't get to go, but some of my friends ended up going to the Maldives and they went and they did a site inspection of the, the construction progress and then after took a week holiday with their partners on the beach, sending me photos, sending me videos and yeah, I was super jealous. But yeah, if you choose water engineering, those opportunities are definitely going to come your way. Now you're probably waiting for it. Yes, number three, reason number three, the money. The money is good. It's not going to make you rich, but it's good. It's going to put you in a position after maybe two, three or even four years where you're comfortable with the money that you're earning and you can live a comfortable life. You can do the things that you want to do. I love snowboarding, for example. I love traveling and I can easily do those things. And thanks to my job, thanks to water engineering, I can do those things comfortably, come back to work, have a nice job and have a safe, secure job and really get the most out of life with, with that money that I get from engineering. This is a disclaimer, and I'm gonna repeat myself, it doesn't make you rich. Don't do engineering for the money, and you would probably would have heard that from many other people on YouTube and probably other engineers as well. Don't do it for the money. It's a challenging job, it's a rewarding job, but it is not a job solely worth the money. It may be good, and it may give you a comfortable life, but it's not worth doing if you don't enjoy it. Reason number four why I chose engineering is working with new technologies, especially in this day and age, in the technology age, in the information age, where we have phones that can effectively do anything and we take it everywhere around with us. I mean, look at Tesla, look at the electric cars, look at the sustainable systems that we have to create, it, to create energy to, to combat climate change. All these new and complicated technologies you're gonna be involved in. And in actual fact, you're gonna to have to know about them. And that's a huge plus to be involved in companies that work in those spaces and develop those technologies. You're going to be on the forefront of those technologies and in the water space, the most important resource, technology is always advancing and you're going to be there when it does. 
One of my projects which I was lucky enough to work on was a automated waste collection system which was on the eastern side of Australia and it was the first automated waste collection system in Australia's history. The first one ever implemented. The technology came from South Korea and essentially what it did was there was bins on the side of the road with an underground piping system where you would put trash in the bin close it and then it would suck it through the system, eliminating the need for trucks, uh, driving around the streets daily and making noise and pollution and things like that. Um, the collection station where all the rubbish was held, all the equipment in there was powered by solar, so a sustainable way of collecting rubbish. I got to work on this new technology and understand how it worked and implemented it in Australia and that was a, a huge part of my, one of the biggest projects in my career and one I'll never forget. The last reason, and reason number five, is meeting people and meeting your friends, spending time with your friends and meeting those lifelong friends. I've said it before in my previous video, but you do. If you dedicate your life to water engineering, you're going to be working with the same people and you're going to be working around familiar faces all the time. And eventually, hopefully, you create new friendships lifelong friendships and making life just more enjoyable um, and catching up with them outside of work, socialising with them at work, talking to them about, with, about problems, trying to work through projects with them. It makes it more fun with other people and meeting new people is one of the biggest things that you will do in your career. Because let's be honest, people is the biggest part of engineering. You do the projects for the people you work with the people. You, the outcomes are for the community and they are people. And essentially that's what engineering is. You fix problems for people. That's the reason that we do what we do. And probably my favorite part of it is the making friends, meeting new people, making lifelong friends and getting to share my work with them. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed the video, maybe think of subscribing hit the like button if you really got something out of it. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below how I could improve the videos. And if you're a water engineer, let me know in the comments below as well. I wanna hear from you. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next video.